Hi, Eric. How hey! are you? Hey, <laughs> she's here. I'm here, baby. Let's do it. So I'm talking about. Yes. How, how are you? How you I'm, feeling? Happy I'm Friday. Doing, happy Friday to you too. And I'm doing well. I feel really good. I'm glad to be here at this very historic time. Yes. You know, and thanks so much for asking me to do this. I'm really grateful. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. Um, I want to everybody that's watching this live right now, and I'm so thankful and grateful for Jolie. She's Thank been you. my healer, energy specialist since like maybe 2014, 15, at least five years. And it's been a journey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you've but seen you know me the through my ups and downs and the roller coaster, the ride. So, yep. But it's been good because you have taken in the advice of the spirit because I want to yes. really make it clear that it's not me. I've just opened myself up as a channel and I've just been taught as to how to sort of read your energy and then allow for the spirit to guide, to allow me to guide you. That's yes. all it is. It's just helping you become more in alignment with who you truly are. Yes. And I, I'm saying Anything from picking a publicist to making big time life decisions to relationship stuff to pain to trauma. Oh my God. You have pointed me in the right direction and allowed me to make the decision for myself. Right. Thank you. And yes. I just want to say thank you for the guidance and, you know, giving me the faith to, to, to believe that this life of mine is for me to live my highest self, my best self. And um, I just want to say thank you. But today is about <laughs> you and what okay. you bring to the table and how you help people, how your process. Um, so a as we know, I think you use you, 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 the title for your type of work. I mean, you do so many things. Uh, you clean out chakras, you heal people, um, energy specialists. Can you give the people just a synopsis or a breakdown what is it that you actually do for individual in their life? Uh, what I do, chakras, you know, can be controversial seeing that, you know, they are from an ancient uh, religion. Nevertheless, throughout time and throughout science, we all know we have an electromagnetic field. We are electric. Okay. That's how come we can manifest and we can magnetize and we can also repel. <laughs> So what I, I, I work with is your energetic field. So inside your body and outside your body, I have been taught how to identify parts of your soul architecture in order to help you align with yourself, that highest part of you, and to heal. And so my modality is one of the things I'm skilled with is that I can bring some golden light into your body and I can recognize where dis-ease and illness lies so I can assist you with your doctor and I can assist you with healing that. I can also look at where there's blocks in relationships or in finances, as well as just with you being self-sabotaging. And I can work with your energies and the different energy centers where the nerve ganglia are the densest is called your chakra or the electromagnetic energy. So I'm able to identify what's going on, excuse me, in those areas as well as the aura layer, which is what you come up against. People talk about, you're in my personal space. That's your aura layer. So I'm able to sort of clean out what is pictures in those. So what you're doing is you're either holding on to past life experiences or else you are holding on to traumas in the aura layer and in your body. So how would that look, right? You're driving along on the 405, and you're thinking about that time when you were in the sixth grade and Bobby hit you and you knew you should have hit him back. You're holding a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still holding that trauma from that time Bobby hit you. So we work together to remove and resolve these issues because those can block you from what it is you're meant to do, what it is that you are, are inspired to do. And then all of a sudden you sit back down and say, you know what, I'm not going to do that. And boom, that picture will come in your mind or you'll think about mm. that self-sabotaging moment. So we work on those patterns as well as spells, curses, vows, contracts, agreements, or any other obligations in this lifetime or past lifetimes that could be causing you trauma. Got it. So in your field of study and all the work you have done, 
what do you see or have seen that's most consistent with people that you work with? Is it lot, f fear? Is it past life? What What is it from your side? Okay. Um, we really can't blame people for their past life experiences. You know, hopefully we can just turn them into something that is a lesson for this lifetime. But oftentimes in this present lifetime, we really incur a lot of trauma based on those pictures from the past. So what I like to do is I like to get people to first learn to accept themselves as they are, understand that they are worthy and deserving. That's the biggest issue with all of my clients, the feelings of unworthiness, the feelings of being not good enough, and really paying too much attention to the external instead of listening to that intuition. Yes. So that's really the problem. People feel unworthy and they can't forgive themselves. So it becomes challenging to move forward. And what does that word do for people's like aura, chakra, energy? Because I know in my past, I felt unworthy. I didn't feel like I was good enough for some of the things I were getting and things that was coming to me. I didn't feel like I should have them. So I would neglect it or I wouldn't accept it, you know? Right. So what does that, that word is so, uh, it's like heavy, but it's light. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think that word, we don't acknowledge that word enough to know the impact that it has on us. So what is that like? feeling worthy what does that look like what does that okay. feel like that's a very good question all right worthiness looks like this when you are in a situation where you feel uncomfortable mm. with someone let's say there's someone that may be talking about you or you feel like people are gossiping about you mm. most of us get afraid we get fearful and we contract when you feel worthy you go up to that person and you will diffuse or you will say something. Or if you don't even do that, you just stand in your truth and you still shine beyond whatever that person may have to say to you. Yes. Or you use humor to diffuse the situation, things of that nature. You're in your power and your glory to, well, nothing can come through to take you out of your joy and out of who you are. That's when you know you feel worthy. Ooh. And another saying is, you feel the fear and you do it anyway. That is absolutely one of the how-tos of worthiness is you feel the fear, you feel the negativity, and you, pl and you drive right through it anyway. And so yeah. that's how you know you're getting somewhere. But in order to feel worthy, you've got to know who you are, right? And you've got to yeah. be okay with you. Yes, yes, and yes, that yes. sometimes is a challenge because we are inherently taught due to this hierarchical structure to be people pleasers. You've got to get to the point where I've got to please me first. And then once you please you, then everyone else has the space to go on ahead and please themselves. You know, it's like, I always talk about the platinum rule. You treat others the way they want to be treated, not the way you want to be treated because mm. their trauma and their trauma are totally different. Wow. So they might be, like, I'll give you an example. This is a good one. If you're in a relationship, right, and especially if you're a woman and you're out with your man and your man, you know, he's looking at all these other beautiful women. He's not out there talking to them, but he may be looking at them. And I know for me as a woman, that was really like, that's so disrespectful. I feel like, why can't you? You're not with me. We don't go out very often. Why can't you just have all eyes on me? Well, if I am feeling worthy and good about myself, and that is a boundary for me. I talk about it or else I say to myself, he comes home with me. So, you know, this is, yeah. I have the confidence and the love for myself to chill because yeah. I know what's going on, you know? And my point was, <laughs> whatever mm -hmm. it was, that had to do with it. it was a metaphor, but it's just important for us to allow ourselves to get to know who we are, where our boundaries yeah. are, that way we give other people space to be who they are and to set their boundaries. And guess what happens? Peace. Peace, yeah. And that's the most powerful thing, I believe, is peace. Peace is freedom to me. Yes, absolutely. Because you know, I think sometimes 
and we live in this world of validation. We want likes, we want followers, we want views, we want acknowledgement, we want awards. And I think the biggest validation is you validating yourself every day. You wake up every day, mm -hmm. you, you, you know, understanding that if you're looking for validation outside of yourself, then you might miss who you really are because another person shouldn't dictate or depict how you should feel. You know, right. you should dictate and depict that by standing in your truth and your power because people right. are going to think, they're going to judge, they're going to have opinions, they're going to disagree with some of the things you believe in, but that's fine. That's life. That's so, absolutely right. You know, I think for me, when I first came on the scene and we were working together, I think my biggest thing was um, I cared too much about what other people thought about me and mm -hmm. felt. And I'll be honest, there's still some people pleasing in there for me. Yeah. Um, especially with like family members and close friends that I feel obligated that if something bad happens that I have to be available and if I'm not available then something really bad would happen and that's not true right. that's me creating this narrative that maybe from my childhood that something bad is going to happen mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm trying to work on that to change yes. that paradigm to change that scenario in my mind an internal representation because it's not true right but and i made it true for so long yes and so it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy i i understand yeah um i for me as well with the platinum rule i would just like to be a little bit more specific because yeah. you treat people how they treat you yes but that is a low vibing and a low frequency we want to find our tribe and find our people. So if people that you want to hang out with, you know, especially since we live in Los Angeles, there is this desire for us to be with the end crowd, right? Yeah. Because we know that gives us access to things. But you have to look at yourself and say, is this the type of behavior and character that I want to be a part of? And if you happen to not be fitting into that, that is not something for you to look at yourself as being wrong about. Mm. That is something for you to take as information and say, I don't belong here. Let me go off and find my people and let me build what it is that I can give me access. And I think that's kind of what's happening in the change in all of our electromagnetic fields is that we're tired of forcing you know, like whole, it's like Cinderella and her shoe, right? We're tired <laughs> of forcing our feet into these slippers that don't fit. And that's yes. what this, this uh, opportunity for this reset, as I like to call it, gave us yes. was an opportunity to get back to what really matters. And when you care about what other people think, guess mm -hmm. who is receiving the short end of the stick? You are, you are, and right. you are in this body and you've been given this life. And it's not about selfishness. It's about understanding that you're interconnected with everybody. And because of that, have some compassion and empathy for others. And if someone sets a boundary with you, respect that. And if you can't respect it, then be woman or man enough to have enough character and say, I can't do you. It's like, that simple. Doesn't work for me. Yes. And I, I, I mean, honestly, especially with everything going on in the pandemic and um, the Black Lives Matter movement and George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, it's a lot of chaos, a lot of noise, a lot of just energy, negative energy that's out in the universe. And I think we're all being affected. So to anybody listening, watching, and people who will see this, what advice can you give individuals out there today who's struggling who might not be struggling who lost a job who has a job who's in better you know to all people what is the advice for the universe for us to be more than what we want to be or what we should be to have peace all right so i've just been called to just do a reading from and that i can just channel this All right, okay. so I'm going to okay. go ahead and just clean out a little energy. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to ground, pull my aura in, higher self above me. My astral body snapped in. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my lower chakras down, 70, 20, 30. 
send out my reading cords to the roof and to the floor. And then now, I want to say again, thank you so much for this opportunity to share my blessings and my gifts. And it is with humility and gratitude that I ask Mother, Father, God, source energy, divine intelligence, creator of all that is, to open me up as a channel of light and blessings so that I may assist you in letting go of any of the negative thoughts, the limiting beliefs, the people, the self-sabotaging behaviors, the past lives, memories, or experiences that may be getting in the way of you living a life of optimal health and the maintenance of that, financial prosperity and the expansion of that, as well as magnetizing to you more loving, fulfilling, lasting and committed relationships and partnerships that support your life in the highest and the best way with grace and ease. Thank you, it is done and so it is. So Eric, we're gonna use you as a proxy. Can you please say your first and last name three times in a row? Yes, Eric Bigger, Eric Bigger, Eric Bigger. So the first place that lights up is the heart chakra, which is a green color. So I'm gonna go up to a light green and then we're gonna start in the heart chakra. So we've got a, a, a part of, let's start from the beginning. We've got a wounded inner child. We In the heart chakra especially, there is just a part of us at, at a primal level. And it's not even about the melanated kind. It's even, the reason why everyone is coming together to stand up is because we are, like I said, we are all interconnected. And if I'm yeah. being hurt and maimed, we're all starting to feel it. Mm. So that's the issue. So where we want to begin is within ourselves and with us, where I started before, which is how am I hurting myself? How do I talk to myself? I mean, even me as a healer, I speak to myself in ways that are very self-deprecating. Well, guess what this does? This ripples out into the universe. Yes, and yes, then when yes. I go to a party or when I go to my job, now I'm surprised when people are gossiping about me. Well, hey, you gossip <laughs> about you too. So what do you expect? Right. So back to the protest. So let's clean out some energy and drain some energy out of this. Some, some, yeah. It's not so much fear in the heart chakra as much as it is self-hatred. We are so tired of hating ourselves. Thanks to the internet and technology, we have seen so many different people uh, places and, and different hairstyles, different different colors, all of that, which has sort of eased the tension. And it's allowed for people to sort of open their hearts and be accepting because some of this stuff that can be considered weird is pretty cool and really opens up an aspect of us that is allowing for more light to come in. Yeah. So it's like, thank you, internet. And so it's important, I just like to say, for us to really fight against this being policed in a way that's gonna allow us to not be able to have access to all the things that open up our heart chakra. Yeah. So for some of these rights, we should definitely be looking for and be aware and be careful because as artists, especially me, I love pop culture, beauty, all those things, but that's a lot of information that's coming in in different ways, making me feel like I'm not enough. So you want to make sure that you bring in information into you that is definitely going to expand your love of self. And once you can, like when you see people who are two extremes, we have the extremist, you know, it's like there's a lack of self-love there. And yeah. even the people who give too much, there's a lack of self-love there. Yeah. There's really some hatred. I know, over here, we're like, I've got to do so much to get this love that I will never fill me up because it's not coming from within. And then we've got this person, I hate you so much because I hate myself. Yeah. Let's swing into the pendulum in the middle. Meaning, there we go. Balance. Exactly. By I love myself, yet I am going to take responsibility for what my life looks like. Yeah. That reverberates, right? Mm -hmm. So here... We, we get to the melanated people from a heart chakra perspective. If we're going to meet this with fighting and backbiting and all that stuff, guess what? The system is going to continue to give us what yes. it's been giving us. Yes. That's what but I'm if saying. we meet yeah. it with love and we speak integrity and truth from a place of love and acceptance, like, I see you struggling here. Mm -hmm. But I'm here for you. Let me help you because I am one of those people that really believe that racism is not a melanated problem. Yeah. 
Yeah. That was created by Europeans, for Europeans, and it's an all European thing, and Europeans are responsible for that. That's just the God's honest truth. And I'm sorry, once you create that, just like there are certain things within our community, you know, that we're responsible for. Yeah. So I just would love when you come up into these situations where you see people trying to learn or grow or they're frustrated, don't, you know, like kick them down more. That's an opportunity for you to love even more. Yeah. For you to see a lot of people don't even know where they're being wronged at. They don't even know mm -hmm. how they're wrong. They've just been conditioned and programmed. Yeah. So now that's theirs. They got to work on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But if they come into your sphere, let's say, be the change you want to see. You know, wouldn't go. you want somebody to tell you if you had a booger in your nose or your zipper yeah. was down? Or do you want to walk around like that all day? Yeah. We're in this society where we don't tell our... We don't tell, we let them walk around and we just whisper. Mm -hmm. That is a problem that reverberates and that's now embedded itself into the system and mm. we are suffering. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So from a loving perspective, open your heart and be accepting of yourself and others in a way that honors you and them. This is not about, because sometimes when you speak about acceptance, Eric, that mm -hmm. means, you know, people were accepting of, of accepting of Hitler, you know, so acceptance has its limits. Yeah. You know, you've got to pick and, and be passionate about a purpose and take responsibility for that. And at the same time, be able to do your work internally yes. to heal. And go. so that's what's kind of coming through from a heart chakra perspective around what do I tell people? First and foremost, remove the middleman between mm. you and the divine and get a relationship and a ritual going. Secondly, meet your enemy. Of course, be armed if, if you see them as an enemy, mm. but isn't it better to sort of understand, listen, love is the only thing that has the ability to transform, right? We talk about Hawkins, right, and his frequency chart. Yeah, I And love at Hawkins. the top of that is love, is joy, right? Yeah. Joy, they're high. Joy and peace and light. Yeah, yeah. Th they're high. And so how am I going to expect a different world, but I'm constantly calling you Karen? Woo! Yeah. yeah. Say that again. Can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> you know, like, yes. I personally know that that is perpetuating what I'm trying to get away from. And I know people who are African-American named Karen, and I know white girls named Karen. I know everybody named Karen. And you know what? The Karens in my life are good to me. Yeah. So this is, I'm not trying to be an apologist by no means, because I feel the pain. But from a heart chakra perspective, beyond the color and the skin, that is, that is not how we roll. We are people of the divine and of the spirit. And therefore, we open our hearts to see beyond what other people can't see. So after you guys have beat and battered yourselves and, and done all that and beat each other up, I'm here to help you put yourself back together and heal. There we go. Because that's what we need to do. Like, it's great. I want you, the spirit, yes, protesting and all of that is important. Nevertheless, it's systemic. Mm. It's in the system. Like, we talk about defunding the police, right? Okay, yeah. we talk about defunding the police, which is great. I mean, I understand that. Yeah. But the system is, when we get rid of that one billion or whatever we've taken away, guess whose jobs are going to go? The civil servants that look like me and you. Yeah. The stuff that can be automated. So when we talk about defunding the police, let's be specific. Yeah. And so bringing it back to the individual, when you talk about loving yourself, be specific. When you talk about saying good things about yourself and not deprecating, be very specific as mm. to what that looks like. That's big. Okay? Okay. I like that. So the system, we have got to infiltrate the system because when we defund it, guess what? My family, I'm grateful to be where I am today because my family was able to be a part of the civil servant and police officers and things of that nature. Right. Guess what? They're not, the mayor's not going to go, the lieutenant, the police chief. No, it's going to be the janitors and all the stuff that can be automated, which is us. 
Be yeah. careful what you ask for. Uh -huh. Spread love and understanding. That money should be teaching these people nonviolent communication. It should be teaching them how to love and accept and to com unify, not to divide. Yeah. So we've got to do that within us. That's Absolutely. where we come in because we have so many different personalities and hats <laughs> that we wear sometimes. So we can see how even on a micro level, it affects us. And then the macro affects us. So the creator is saying to me here that every one of you that has love in your heart or that has a, a talent, it's time for you to get out there and share it. Stop playing it small. It is so important because that's part of the love and acceptance. Get out of your own way and let the spirit and the divine work through you. Like hit, just hit the red button. Just five minutes, 10 minutes. Reach out your hand. You know, continue to grow because as you grow, it reverberates out there. So when we start worrying about like other people and institutions and stuff, yeah, that's great, but it takes more than just me. But if I work on me and I come from a loving space, man, it's like I open up that and I hold the space for others to do the same. Yes. All right. So we're going to clean out that heart chakra. So that's what I'd like to say is take the moments. And we as advocates, I, I see us often people reach out and say, hey, let me help you. Hey, let me do this. Let's just keep that going. So let's clean out the heart chakra some more. Let's ground it, stabilize it, fill it with the highest affinity, gold light, divine love. What am I doing? I'm giving us a new perspective, a new way of looking at things. And it's not me. I'm sorry. It's the spirit through me is asking for you, for us to see things from a different perspective, not one from a place of anger. Mm. I mean, just just mm. like we talk about, just like we've been conditioned and oppressed, you know, and now we self-censor ourselves. And, you know, Joy DeGru, she talks about that. That's a great book, Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome. I would just wow. like to lay that on the table. Wow. She really can give you the specifics of the breakdown of how we now police ourselves and we're in the slave mind. Mm. But then on the flip side <laughs> of that, there's there's I'm superior and I'm better than you. That's just as crazy. <laughs> so we've got to, you know, we've got to realize that when I'm looking down upon you from my perch, that's a mental illness too. That's not right. That That's somebody that needs a little bit of love and kindness in their life because they don't get it. And the people who are stepping all over themselves, it's the same thing. Now, yes, it's their responsibility to do the work. But in the meantime, have compassion for yourself so that you can have compassion for that because that's a part of you yes. all right different perspective so let's go down into the solar plexus chakra which is our will so it's like where are we going after this okay after the protests after all this has yes. died down and everybody's made the money that they needed to make from this who benefits right and everyone is finally back into their corners where, where's the change going to come it's always got to start individually. So as a people, that's why I was segue into, into doing, hitting a video, doing the things to where all that information that you have coming in, now it can be given out. And it's not always talking into a camera. Get your art on. Get your garden on. Get your sewing, your knitting. Anything that is allowing for you to channel energy, Sometimes our greatest ideas and epiphanies come when we are just washing dishes or doing things that are rote. Yeah. Do you see? Like yeah. if you working out is a great, how many times have you gotten a great idea or work something out because you're working out? Yeah. So in a third chakra perspective to get the will moving, we, we, we want to get the body moving and we want to individually get the body moving and it doesn't always look like exercise it can be looking like cleaning out your garage it can look a lot of different ways but we wind up allowing for that shame to stop us from moving forward so this is where when the protests or whatever in we've got to be willing to take it further Let's we've got to will you see that we've got because yes. we always seem to stop after yeah why are we stopping <laughs> 
okay, so now we need our partners and our people to demand change. So what do we do? We have the will and the power and the freedom, self-confidence to be like, you know what? I'm looking around me and this isn't very diverse. I think HR needs to know. <laughs> and yeah. some of us are like, I can't do that, my job. Okay, that's where you want to stop and you want to say, why am I afraid? Mm. Why do you fear what the spirit and your intuition, the gift that it has just given you to open you up and other people? Where is the fear coming from? And from a third chakra perspective, it comes from shame. It comes from us having stood, stood up for ourselves in the past and be shot down, shot down, shot down. But you know what? That is a part of life, people. You're going to, part of confidence is embarrassment, humiliation, shame, fear. That all is encompassed within confidence. I like that. And courage. It's powerful. So you've got to be willing to like, understand that this little thing right here this meat packet that houses the soul is just that it's just a meat packet and your job is to really take the time to beautify the soul within and then all of a sudden the cells they start to resonate with that beauty and so the physical will come the money will come but in the meantime listen to your intuition listen to the divine within you as it speaks to you moving yourself in a certain direction and all those self-sabotaging you're going to be humiliated welcome it honor it yeah that means you're on the right track you may be embarrassed you know that means when you, when people get discovered like let's say people have been doing some really bad crap undercover mm. like terrible and then all of a sudden somebody shines a bright light that is mercy because that person has the opportunity to change and we as individuals should start looking at that differently instead of sh like, wow, the cancel culture is out of control. Like there are so many opportunities that we have right now to teach these people. They are in such like they're on their knees, like, please give me my job back, you know, yeah. or please don't cancel me. And it's like, wow, right here, right at that level, that is not the time to kick them when they're down. Yeah, that's the time yeah. to be like, you know what? Let me help you, you need to learn. And so we're going to set something up for you. Okay, corporations, you set up nonviolent communication. You set up these situations where people can now learn about instead of being a part of that double consciousness. I don't know why I'm talking about this so much, but, you know, the double consciousness is where where melanated people, they know everything about Europeans and what they do, but Europeans have no idea about our culture or who we are. Yeah. That's crazy. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That yeah. is insane that we work and we live together, but I need to know everything, the ins and outs of your life, but you have no clue. You don't even have to come in my side of town if you don't want to. Right. There's a disparity there, but that's an inner disparity first before it becomes manifested yeah so we want to work there in the areas of us opening up and learning about one another we don't want to push these people into because that's what is going to create more extreme behaviors you know take the moment to man a person who is a racist man they are they hate themselves yeah. they don't like who they are because if they, the only way for them to not like others is, is if they don't like who they are or they were taught that. Yeah. So if they are willing, if they've been shamed and the, and the light's been shone and the roaches are, are running, that's the time to use the fumigation of love. Like that's the time to say you have a problem, but I, if you want help, I'm here for you. If not, you can stay in your zone, but let's not go like that's what you get and yeah 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 oh because guess what you're doing you're asking yeah. for the universe to treat you that way yes 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 that's yes, all yes. i'm saying and it's not about me you know because if we if i was to just go off my meat packet i might have a whole different perspective on how things should go down but i am a spirit and a being that comes first from the soul and realizes that i'm interconnected with everyone else and i cannot hate or 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 push other people out because of their religion or their color or their culture that wow for me that would i would suffer 
Yeah. And I know that. And all and many of us out there are suffering because there's so many gifts that come to us in packages we would not even believe that they come. So let's clean out all of this shame and this oppression from the third chakra that is keeping you from speaking your truth and speaking up on behalf of other people when it matters. Yeah. Do you work at CNN? If you don't work at CNN, you shouldn't really care if they are covering your pro, like go to your job and, and, and yeah. say something. Be the when, example. You're at, when you see a person at a store, cut the line because, oh, I don't have, she's black. I don't got to worry about her. You say something, you know, these little things, they cause ripplings. And I'm so grateful for all of you that are, and we're seeing it now, but in these places where it is systemic is where we want to do the work. Our dollars, you know, what we patronize, what we, that is what's going to get us free is all I'm saying. And I, I'm yeah. not focusing on that per se, but it's right in our faces to, as I'm holding up a mirror to show us where we need yeah. to work on ourselves because that's where the gold is at wherever yeah. your resistance is and your blocks when you work on that that's when you succeed there we go so if you're wondering my finances i'm having a pro okay wait a second let's see where are you blocked are you a homebody you don't want to be social you don't want to go out you don't want to meet people you're afraid Ooh, you're blocking your blessings right mm -hmm. yeah. so maybe if we started Okay, I'm just going to go out. I'm going to I'm going to go out for 15 minutes and if I don't like it, I'm going to leave. Wow. That's growth. And then the yes. next time it'll be 30 and then you're stretching yourself and now guess what? You found your people. So again, let's ground stabilize the third chakra. Gold light, divine love, golden sun, we bring that down into the third and we open it up. We want some energy and some space to come in. All right. Now in the second which is what we dealt with, which was worthiness. Our creativity, our sensuality, and our sexuality is here. Of course, it deals with intimacy, but more than anything, it deals with the ability to, uh, to uh, magnetize support, to sell yourself, to brand yourself, to get others to help you reach your goals. So when you're blocked here, there is a, a victim programming. You know, in the second uh, chakra, you can tell. We're a victim <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> yeah. And we're been blaming there. other people. You know, we're blaming other people for our issues and our problems. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's kind of what's going on here with us as well. That's you know, so we clean out any energy here that may be blocking us. So to move forward in a way, it's like use your creativity to figure out ways to dissolve the walls between you and other people look for the solution and take responsibility oftentimes we're victims and we want to blame but we were part and parcel of that happening and going down as well so our first step would be you know i've been oppressed but how am i continuing that narrative in my life mm. how am i showing up in an oppressive way am i oppressing others or am i showing up um selling myself short by not raising my hand, by failing to speak up. Mm. Because interestingly enough, especially in the corporate sector, there are rules, right? The first one to speak loses in a meeting sometimes. The first one to get emotional loses, right, in a meeting. And the first one to bring up, like, race also is, is not good. So are we going to challenge this, Robert's rules of order that are unwritten? Are we going to challenge this? The way things look, are we going to continue to squash people? I'm not saying bring your emotions to work. That is not appropriate. Nevertheless, your truth is. Yes, your is. truth in a way that honors you and other people. But if people are constantly fearing, because in this chakra, the issue is guilt. So when this chakra is out of alignment, you feel a sense of guilt. So what are you feeling guilty about? There's a lot that's going on out in the world that you can see people are feeling guilty. So clear out your guilt, recognize what it is that you feel guilty about. Because we know that when we're coming from a slave mentality, ooh, we feel a lot of guilt because we're not standing up for ourselves, right? There we go, it's powerful, yeah. So that's important, but we have to, I, I believe that we benefit by doing it in a way that honors ourselves and others. Once again, we are all interconnected and it's not about race. I want to say that 
100%. At the end of the day, the soul is not about that. You know, a lot of us out here know that when the conversation goes to race, that person is straight in the illusion. And it's going to mm -hmm. be hard to pop them up out of it because they're not seeing things correctly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah, mean, yeah. Or in a way that serves anybody or anything. So a lot of us, the moment you'll see a lot of people avoid that conversation, not because they don't want to talk about it or it's uncomfortable, because it doesn't exist. It's, but just because it, do, it doesn't exist doesn't mean it doesn't affect you because other people, it exists within them. So yeah. be a part of the solution and the creativity to help people see beyond that. Don't just fight. When you fight, you're fighting for something. You're fighting yeah. for something. What are, what are we fighting yeah. for? Actually, it's just more love, right? At the end yeah. of the day, that's more what love. we really want is more love and more, more connection. Love. Yeah. And more right to be who we are. Mm -hmm. So I continue to tell you, you know, be who you are. So to answer your question, we start in the heart chakra. First, come from a place of love and forgiveness. Forgive people because their ancestors were ignorant and hateful and barbaric right? And maybe diabolical. Let's try and forgive that because that stuff is in the DNA. Oftentimes we have to reprogram yeah. that reprogram. part. The second, I mean, excuse me, the third, when we talk about shame, get rid of the shame that you feel by being brave, reaching for your purpose, what it is that you want to do, as long as it's not hurting you or anyone else. And the way that you speak about yourself, that is important. make it positive. And then if we move into the second chakra, share and connect with others, no matter what they may look like. If their energy resonates with you, stop playing it small. Reach yeah. out and spread that love. All right? Absolutely. As we ground, stabilize, be creative, share your gifts. Okay? So as we go down into the first chakra, which is the safety, security, and financial prosperity this is a very basic part of you and it's kind of in the ego right so what we want to do is transcend that by realizing that we are safe because we we believe in the divine you know because we have a connection to one another and the divine within us we are safe and the fear that we fear right now or feel is an illusion it truly is like if i were to ask you to go to the beach and count the grain of sand. Would you be able to do that? That's how much abundance there is out there. Ooh, in the universe. But you powerful. have to get clear. You got to get clear, you know, and you get clear by taking responsibility for what your intuition guides you towards. So that's what I would say is also in the first chakra. So, you know, I hope that, you know, I, I helped. I just was doing a quick reading so you could see what I'm doing. But, yeah. you know, as I look at the people who are tuning in and not, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like, you know, you can't help but kind of feel some type of way about that. But hopefully this will resonate at some point. Yeah. Um, and I read with my eyes closed because that's how I see better and I'm more lucid that way. But, yeah, I'm open that, my eyes that, now. <laughs> that, is, that is powerful. You just, you answer the universe biggest question and questions so thank you you serve that purpose i hope so i've been in you know spurts trying to announce and acknowledge a lot of these things in different ways um but you really summed up everything for everybody no matter what color no matter what religion no matter what race no matter what belief no matter what exactly. class this is us this is we and together we can be better but we have to understand that the work starts with us from within exactly so we can all win you know yes and compassion love forgiveness right. it's going to be okay you know the self-sabotaging thoughts and talking positive to ourselves and you know our perceptions of ourselves all those things matter when we go outside of ourselves and connect with other individuals yeah. so jole oh my god you just had a grand slam <laughs> <laughs> i'm so grateful i mean yeah you know what and I, I was watching some show the other day because I love pop culture, but they go, oh my God, who uses the word thrive? You know, you should hit them in the nose or something. That is the word we should be running towards. See how Hollywood sometimes, you know, they need yeah. a smack on the hand yeah, because yeah. they try to really, the things we should be moving towards and going towards, 
we ridicule and we we look upon down our nose and it's like no that's kind of where we need to be yeah. so i said that to say when you thrive i thrive when Ooh. your neighbor starts to thrive you thrive when your community thrives you you see so yeah. when you're trying to cock block and block and do all this other stuff to people you're just cock blocking yourself like yeah. you know yeah, you don't yeah, 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 because yeah. if everything's interconnected all that jealousy, jealousy too. That's another thing that I think is the issue with this. Jealousy is just letting you know that you have the same abilities and qualities. You're just sitting on your fat side and not doing anything about it. Yeah. That's all. It's just a temperature check. Yeah. So when you feel jealous, you want to be thankful because that's just telling you, hey, let's get moving. You got it. You got it. Let's, let's just go. get moving. You know, oh. and I just, oh. I want people to understand that, like, lean in to the things that intimidate you and terrify you. Like, if you see someone that has a Ferrari that you want, I mean, what a, a muggle example, but it's easy. You don't just be like, oh, he thinks he, you, oh my gosh, you know, what did you do? That is such a great car, you know, and you figure out, okay, well, obviously he got, he can do it. I can do, it. it's just simple. But sometimes yeah. the simple is not easy, right? Yeah. So I just want everyone again to know that if you thrive, I thrive. I want to see you. I want to see everybody reach their, that reach their top. Like we all love the underdog, you know. But what yeah, what yeah. happens when that person reaches a pinnacle? We still need to show them love. Like yeah. Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. Maybe if they had love in their lives, they wouldn't be trying to, you know, <laughs> do what they do and vaccinate and do all these crazy things to people. Maybe yeah. it's about embracing instead of pushing away those that are at the top. We yeah. need them. Yeah. Why are we trying to vilify them? Let's, let's infiltrate, yeah. you know? Because I yeah. want to be at the top, you know what I mean? I want to be there. Yeah. I don't want to be vilified. I would, yeah. I, I'm the underdog now, but when I make it there, I would love the same amount of love if I'm coming at you the same way. Yes. You know, so let's love the bottom and let's love the top and everything in between and if we do it right guess what every things will change they'll just every, yeah. the system will just it'll eat itself but if we can't love it's it's gonna we're gonna keep getting more and more and more of the same people yeah 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 this, you is, know? this is beautiful love baby that 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 is man Chile, and i just you. I, I know the pain. You can feel the pain. We are the pain, right? We can yes. feel it. We can see it. We understand yeah. it. But once you step out of the illusion and you do it because you're trying to help others get out there, you, all that stuff dissolves and all that is left is the stuff of creation and of the ether. And that's where you want to sit and that's where you want to dwell. You don't want to come down here to have to deal with people, you know, I can give you my love and I'll offer you a session, but you're going to have to pay me to get to come down and to deal yeah. with that on some level. I'm just asking us all. That was sarcasm. I'm sorry. I'm just asking because yeah. I give free readings all the time, but I'm right. just asking for people to think about love first. Like you, we automatically come for that defense. You know, it's like somebody says to you, girl, you need to get a pedicure. And you're like, F you, you know, be like, you know what? You're right. I need to. You gonna help me get that? You yeah. Gonna, you, you gonna pay for that hard. for me? Yeah. <laughs> you, know you got I mean? opinions about my life, <laughs> what I should do, how I should do it. How about you show me, or how about you 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 benefit or you support that since you exact, know? Exactly. So start <laughs> instead of like, ooh, ooh, that's making you humiliating me. Yeah. Let's use that for the good, and that's such a bad example. I get it, but in the grand scheme of things, yeah. The only thing that has the ability to transform is love that's it that's all period amen, amen to that Hallelujah. So since we're love. in a state of transformation let's continue the, to love yeah more love guys more love. more love and you see how these people have come together and they've created something so magnificent for all of us to benefit from so let's do the work of working yeah. on our character, of working on how we show up and taking responsibility for us. And I'm not worrying about 
all that's out there. Because if I show up right, guess what? The energy changes. The yeah. energy up levels. Yeah. It just is what it is. It starts with us. The I, the individual. Absolutely. You, each and every one. All of the us. time. And I'm just, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm just grateful for this, for this conversation. Because, you know, if you're not, sometimes it seems like if you're not banging on the drum or if you're not completely in, immersed in it, they, people feel like you're not a part of it or that you're, you're less than it. It's like, no, that's not it. It's just, like I said, I'm not going to be there to beat up on you. I'm here to love you and help yeah. you heal. Mm -hmm. So you go through what you need to go through over there. You know, you have your flip out tantrum. And then when you're tired, I'm here for you. And I'm going to go ahead and put you back together and breathe life into you so that you can go out and do the same thing into the world. Amen. Okay. Yes, indeed. So like, this is powerful. And I mean, this, this, this conversation will live on my main feed. So <laughs> many people will see it. Um, so thank you for that blessing and that universal message. Um, how yeah. can people reach out to you? I mean, what's, I mean, we have your Instagram at Jole, J O L E dot Morton, M O R T O N, but you have an email. Yeah. What else? It's the same thing. It's all the same. My email okay. is jolay.morton at gmail.com. And you can reach me there. And I also have a business website, which is soulconnect.info. S-O-U-L-C-O-N-N-E-C-T dot info. And I'm always available by DM, you know, direct message. And 15 minutes is always free. Like you call yeah. me up and to see if what I say resonates with you or what I do 15 minutes of your time is all I'm asking for because we know the money's going to come. If I keep doing what I'm doing, the yeah. universe is just going to reward me. So I'm not, right. that's important, you know, but yeah. you're, you getting well is what helps me reach my goals. Yeah. So just give me a call. 15 minutes is free. Eric, you could put my number there. I mean, you know, we have the option to answer or not. Right. So why would I hide my number? Don't call me. I can, delete you block you all that so know what i'm saying is my number is okay i'm not gonna do that just give me a call and we will set something up and i will for 15 minutes we'll work with the lower chakras the lower chakras are execution and manifestation mm. and the upper ones are your connection to the divine coming in okay so before we go i just want to explain to you yes, what the please. chakras are so you have your higher self in the divine that gets the messages from the creator. And so then we have logic and reason along with our intuition. Our intuition hears it. Our logic and reason integrates it, brings it down so we can speak our truth. And then with love, we bring down our goals and then we have the will to do it, right? To take that first step to create from the second chakra. And then the first chakra is us being to generate and magnetize that yeah. money or that whatever we need back to us, okay? So yes. I am going to be looking at the lower three, the execution, what is blocking you from moving forward? Because the messages are coming in. It's just, are you listening and willing to do what you are telling you to do? So I'm yes. here to help you get out of your own way. Amen. Okay? There it is. There it is. Jolay, thank you. Oh, um, uh, thank you. Again, I'm so honored and grateful. And yeah, and we'll I'm we'll here. talk soon. I have two to three people. I don't know if you spoke with them this week, but they're supposed to be calling you. So yeah. just so if, heads up. If Dante is watching, I'm getting back to you. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, All right. you take care. I love you. Thanks for everything. And we will talk soon. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank Namaste. You. Thank you. Bye. Well, guys, I mean, there you go. I mean, you want to know how I get help? That's who I go to. That's who helped me when I'm going through the most. So utilize the resources of Joe Lay and the information she has. This live will go on my main feed. You can watch it, learn from it, rediscover yourself within it, and become a new, improve you. The work starts with you. If we want things to change outside of us, we have to be willing to change. And we have what it takes. We just got to get, get out of our own way and make progress. Progress equals happiness. I haven't always been in this position. Jolay has helped me over the years understand my understanding and me taking advantage of that information and myself. So, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. It's a miracle. Yes, it is 
it's miracle season. Miracles do not come easy, but they are worth it. If you're willing to do the work, you can get the miracle. You are a miracle. And it took nine months or maybe eight months. However, you got here. And your mom probably went through pain. Maybe she didn't, but you made it here. So let's make your existence matter. Let's do more than what we think we should. And let's become better together. And let's listen to understand instead of replying. And, um, and be one with spirit. Be one with self. Be one with all of us. Together we can do whatever. Together we can become better. And together we will, if willing to, be forever. I'm out. Peace.